Action definitely speaks louder than words, but the brand new Actions panel in Photoshop is powered with words. So in the new Actions panel, if I were to type in make it pop, all of the actions that actually make it pop is going to show up and you can get a preview of all of these actions. For example, increase saturation, add strong contrast, strongly boost the vibrance. Once you click on it, action is applied. Here is the before and here is the after with that pop. Even if you don't have actions with make it pop in the name, you can use natural language here to explain whatever you want. How is it even thinking that? And where did all of these actions come from? And what more can you do? It is just the tip of the iceberg. So without any further ado, let's get started. Before you run to command Photoshop with your deepest wishes, please note that this feature right now is only available with Photoshop Beta. And you can easily install it by opening up your Creative Cloud desktop app. Inside of that, go to Apps, beta at the top and install Photoshop beta from right here. And these beta features usually quickly make it to the main version. Once in Photoshop, if you cannot find the Actions panel, go to Window and then Actions. You'll see the new Actions panel with the brand new Actions logo. For this example, I'm just going to click on one of the featured essentials, sharpen the image. And it sharpens the image. Here is the before and here is the after. Pretty cool. And if you still cannot see the new Actions panel or you want to get back to the old one, simply click on the Hamburger menu or the Veggie Burger menu if you're a vegetarian and then go to Classic Actions. And there you have it. At the moment, both the new Actions panel and the Classic Actions panel are essential. Why? Have a look. The new Actions panel still doesn't have an option to create a new action, to edit an action or have a detailed view of an action. As opposed to the Classic Actions panel, you will notice that you can open up each action to see what they do. You can create a new action, you can delete an action, edit an action, and those are yet to come in the new panel. Let's find our way around the new actions panel, shall we? When you first see it, you'll notice two tabs, suggested and yours. The suggested tab will have all the suggested actions and the yours tab will have the actions that you have created or saved. Now, every time you open a brand new image, this panel is going to analyze it. And if you go to the suggested tab, it will make some suggestions based on this particular image. How cool is that? Don't worry, we're going to get to that later. On top of that, we have some featured essential actions that are some of the most common actions we apply throughout projects, like auto adjust levels, remove the background, select the subject, so on and so forth. And now for the most important part, the search. And you can search in natural language. You'll find it at the top. And let's type in for for this example, black and white. And we have so many presets we can apply. We definitely get a preview. So this one is something I like. Click on it, apply. This is so darn cool. Now one more little thing with the UI. Let's close this, close it again. If you click here, you can have large preview or small preview. As you can see, they came closer. Click on it again, click on large, and they just expand a little bit. Do you have a shopping buddy? It can be your mom, your friend, your significant other, your children even, and they make it so much easier for you to pick, right? So when you're in a store, they can tell you, this shirt looks good on you. That trouser looks dashing on you. That jacket just enhances your personality. Similarly, with the new actions panel, you have suggestions based on the image. So whenever you open a brand new image, let's drag it and drop it right here. It will take a little while to analyze the image and make suggestions based on that. How cool is that? And then you can hover over, see what looks good to you. For example, for me, make subject pop. Looks amazing. It's taking a little while to generate the preview as it's a heavy action. This is cool. Let's click on it to apply it. And since this is a non-destructive action, you can change aspects of it. For example, I don't like the glow, so I can turn off outer glow. If we go to the history panel, here is the before and here is the after. Pretty amazing, isn't it? Before after. Now keep in mind, these are not the only suggestions you have. Let's get back to how it was before. This is how we started. Let's open up our new actions panel. You see all of these suggestions? There are actually more. If you hover right here, you'll see a refresh icon. Let's click on that. You'll have an extra set of suggestions here. Let's click one more time. You have an extra set right now. And if you have made changes to the image and you want to reanalyze the suggestions, click one more time it's going to reanalyze and give you the results again. All of these features are changing as we speak. Doesn't it make you wonder where do I even start or what to do next? That's why I created Piximperfect Pro, the ultimate guide to mastering Photoshop that stays fresh 
updated without any compromise on mastering the fundamental concepts. You get a clear roadmap for learning Photoshop from scratch and gradually move on to the advanced techniques of color grading, retouching, and compositing. These lessons are very simple to follow. They're hands-on where you learn by doing. Each module gives you practice projects that you can follow along with. With access to unlimited courses, 100 plus lessons that keep on growing, you also have access to excellent support where every query goes through me and we personally make sure we always respond to you. And for only the viewers of this video, I have a hidden offer for Piximperfect Pro that is not available on the public website. So check the link in the description to unlock that offer, only available for a limited time. Let's get back to the video and now let's talk about the action search engine because this is genius. You can search definitely in natural language. For example, you want to remove the haze here. It will give you actions that actually do that. Strongly increase image haze or decrease image haze because that's what we want to do. Now, you know what's crazy? You can apply it selectively. So if you click on the three dots here, you can just apply it on the subject or just the background. So let's apply it only on the subject. It's going to take a little while and done. This is insane. So here's the before and here is the after. Now, as I shared before, you can also type in things like make it pop and it will give you actions that can actually do that. Maybe add a strong contrast, click on it. And if you think it is too much, you can always decrease the opacity of that. So I'm going to set the opacity to about 56 because that's a nice number and also satisfies my OCD. If you want to browse through many actions, there's a trick that Pete Green shared with me, senior Photoshop product manager. He shared that if you just search space, so you remove everything, you just press space, you'll have results of actions that have multiple words with space between them. This will generally give you a long, long list of all the actions. Not all, but most of the actions with multiple words with space between them. By the way, what is this graphic pen effect? You'll get a preview. Let's click on it to apply it. There you have it. Now, what about your personal actions? Actions that you have created, saved or downloaded? You'll find it inside of the yours tab right here. These are also searchable. So I have all of these retouch actions here pro fast skin retouch actions. So even if I were to search for something like retouch, it will show all of those actions here. For instance, I'm just going to play this action. By the way, if you're a Piximperfect Pro member, these actions are available to you. If you want a direct link, I'm also going to leave that in the description. It will automatically select the brush for you, automatically select the mask for you. And all you need to do is to just paint over the skin. It creates the texture so nicely and removes the imperfections. This is one of my favorite actions. Now, it will not give you the best results, but it is amazing for super quick results. There you have it. Some here, some there. And with just a little brushing, you have removed most of these blemishes and applied some softening to the skin. I may want to remove a little bit from there, but overall, here's the before, here's the after. Now, action previews are not perfect yet. You'll notice that many actions have this icon right next to it, which means that it has a preview. So if you hover over any one of these actions, for example, boost the vibrance, you'll get a preview of how this action will look like. You have the effect on the canvas and also the vibrance adjustment layer. Let's take the cursor off and it goes away. Similarly, there's auto adjust levels. If you hover over it, it will give you an auto adjustment. The curves adjustment layer is right there. Keep in mind, it is all a preview. However, if you don't have that preview icon, for example, for remove the background, we don't have that icon. If we hover over, we don't see a preview. That's how it basically works. The only problem is some previews are so slow that it can freeze your system and even moving your cursor sometimes. For example, for make subject pop, even if I hover over it, it takes so much time to preview that you have to wait a while, first of all. And sometimes it can pause a lot of things in your system. After waiting a while, it finally worked. Now, sometimes these previews take so much time, you wish there was a way to turn it off. And actually, there is. Click on the hamburger menu or the veggie burger menu if you're vegetarian and just uncheck preview on hover. This makes it so much easier and doesn't slow down your system as you move your cursor over them. Also keep in mind, not all actions have previews and the ones you create yourself don't have previews at the moment. So if you go to yours, even if you go to simple action, none of them actually have any kind of preview. There are multiple ways we can apply these actions and actually create a workflow. For instance, let's say you want to brighten the subject. I'm just going to type in 
brighten. And there's a simple action, brighten the image. I just want to brighten the subject. So click on the three dots and apply on subject. And it wonderfully brightens the subject. Now we want to make the background darker. So I'm just going to search for darken. Maybe we'll have something, darken the image, click on it, apply on background. Now let's make the image a bit warmer. So let's type in warm, apply a warming filter. Maybe this will work. Let's click on it. And with just a few clicks, have a look at the image. Here's the before, here's the after. Makes such a drastic difference. And you can always change these properties and increase the contrast even more. And this gives you a fantastic starting point to work with. Now, whenever you apply an extensive action, it usually has a lot of steps, right? So when you try to undo after applying the action, it gets complicated. Not anymore. If I go to the classic actions panel by clicking here, choosing classic actions, and let's apply this action and play it. It's all applied. If I try to undo by pressing Ctrl or Command Z, it will get me back to how the image was before. It will not try to undo through every single step. However, you can change that behavior by clicking on the fly out menu again and going to playback options and you can uncheck create a single history state. Hit OK. And now when you apply this, it is applied. And let's say you paint it a little bit and you try to undo by pressing Ctrl or Command Z. Press Ctrl or Command Z again. It takes you through the entire steps of the action. So in other words, the new feature is you can just have one history step for applying any extensive action. Let's say we apply this one. And if we now go to history, you will see a lot of steps applied. However, if you change the setting, let's go back to how it was. Let's clear everything out. Let's go to actions. And in the fly out menu, if you go to playback options and check create single history state, hit OK. And now when you play this, and now let's go to history. It only creates one step. Now the new actions panel is a step in the new direction. There are still a lot of things to do. First of all, there is no option to create an action, edit an action, or have a detailed view of the action steps. Secondly, a lot of the actions are kind of destructive. If I were to apply a preset like this, it's applied. It's applied as a raster layer here. There's no way I can change the noise amount. No way I can change the black and white properties or the contrast. It's all just burned into the pixels. The next thing is you cannot always stack in these actions. Let's say you wanted to apply this aged photo action. If you click on it, it will give a program error because you don't have a raster layer or a pixel layer. You would have to press Control, Alt, Shift and E and create a stamp visible layer at the top and then click on it and then it would work. I love the previews that the actions have, but for the actions that you create, no matter how simple they are, they will not have previews at the moment. I want to thank two people, Joel Bear and Pete Green, for really taking the time and showing me this feature. Joel is the director for product management and Photoshop, and Pete Green is the product manager, and they may be reading the comments here. So if you have any suggestions, please let them know. All of these actions make things faster. At the same time, they make it even more important for us to understand the concepts of how these tools actually work so that after applying them, you can go ahead and adjust those settings. You can go in, you can see what settings are applied and make changes accordingly. And to be able to understand Photoshop from scratch, in 2025 with all the new stuff and everything always updated, definitely check out Mix Imperfect Pro, the ultimate guide to master Photoshop from start to finish and beyond. There's a hidden offer for the viewers of this video, not available on the public website. So to grab it, check the link in the description before it expires. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure to give us a like and also don't forget to subscribe and not just subscribe. Ring the bell so that you, my friend, don't miss any other future tips, tricks or tutorials. I'll see you in my next one. Till then, stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating. What can I do?